हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे वी हैव शुभम साहा विद अस सो शुभम जैन इज वेरी इंस्पायरिंग ही हैज क्रैक्ड रिसेंटली अ प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी इंटरव्यू विद 300% हाइक ही वाज वर्किंग विद टीसीएस फॉर अराउंड 3 एंड 1/2 इयर्स एंड आफ्टर दैट ही हैज गिविंग लॉट ऑफ इंटरव्यूज इन लॉट ऑफ इंटरव्यूज ही फेल्ड बट ही नेवर गेव अप राइट ही कंटिन्यूड टू अपस्किल हिमसेल्फ एंड फाइनली ही गॉट द ऑफर फ्रॉम टारगेट with 300% hike as a data engineer his story is very inspiring we will talk to him his journey the interview process the resources and skills he acquired throughout this journey so welcome to the uh, channel shubham uh, thanks for joining today and taking some time out for this podcast uh, can you quickly introduce yourself and then we will move on to the interview process as target ah uh, sure ankit thanks thanks for giving me the chance Uh, my name is Shubham. I am from Kolkata. Okay. I am graduated in the year 2020 with electronics and communication engineering. Okay. Since then, I am working in TCS uh, as a data engineer there for three and a half years. And recently, I got an offer from one of the product-based company, and I am moving there. Okay, great. So, uh, Shubham, can you quickly talk us about uh, how many interviews you have given so far from TCS to Target? How many interviews you have given in between? Okay, so I started my interview journey from this year only, from January itself, and I am almost giving eighteen to twenty interviews before I crack this uh, target. Okay, okay. include they have the big four companies as well. There are multiple product based companies as well. Yeah, but I finally decided to join Target. It's a good idea. Okay. So I'm sure you would have failed in many interviews. So what was your learning? How how did you overcome those failures? Okay. Okay, so basically, when I started the interview preparation, I didn't uh, wait for uh, giving the interviews. Okay, I immediately started giving the interview. For first five or six interviews, I can say they are everything new to me. Okay, the questions and everything. And next three to four interviews are I find something common from the last interview experiences. And after ten to twelve interviews, I can see, but but I have the confidence that I can crack any interviews. Okay. After twelve interviews. Great, great. So, uh, can you tell us what is the interview process at Target? How many rounds? What skills they test? Okay, so basically, oh, I mean, so when when I saying Target, I was referred by one of my friend to Target, and one of the HR called me and they are asking for my for interview. Okay, so first round you can say that uh, SQL and Python round, the so basic SQL and Python question, not the basic means moderate level. And the second and third round should be on uh, that big data technologies like Spark, Hadoop, Hive, and cloud services like AWS, Azure. And the last round was the hiring manager round. Okay. And after that, uh, I got a HR round for the next processes. Okay. So in the first round where you have SQL and Python, was it any online interview or it was on a paper or on a notepad? How how was it? Yeah, on a notepad only. We have a Zoom meeting or Zoom meeting. I'm forgetting right now. But yeah, I have to share my screen to solve the questions. Okay, can you share one or two questions? Not all, just to get some idea what kind of questions they ask. Okay. SQL and Python both. Okay, so for Python, I got a question like we have a list. Okay, we have a nested list. Okay, we have suppose uh, we have three lists inside another list. Okay, so we have to flatten that list. Okay, you can use the recursive okay. function or you can use anything. Okay, so we are just flatten the list. Okay. okay. And regarding SQL, I got a question like pivoting a table. That is one of the question I remember. For pivoting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. So Shubham, uh, just tell us about how you prepared yourself, right, for the interviews. What resources you used, right? What all technology you prepared for? Okay. So when I giving the interviews, I saw that for many of the companies, the first round itself should be including. SQL and Python every time. It should be SQL and Python only. So for Python, I have uh, learned it by Litcode, and many of the YouTube videos and Udemy as well. And for SQL, I mainly followed your channel. It is easier for me. I followed your channel. I solved every questions. But what I like more about your channel, you are giving the details in the comment section, right? So I took the details. I solved it by myself in various ways, okay? and I have completed the full playlist of your channel. Then it is very much easy for me to crack an interview for SQL. Mm-hmm. And regarding to the next round, like big data technologies, for that I also I have worked in my means project in TCS. I have the practical experience on that. Apart from that, I have referred to many interview means uh, uh, YouTube videos, you can see LinkedIn posts to grab the concept like Hadoop, Hive, 
uh, Spark, and AWS have uh, worked on in my previous projects. But for Azure, I have a uh, free account. I have created many projects with Azure, created many pipelines, and I have put that on my CV so that I can get a call for Azure interviews as well. So for Azure, you have not worked as such in TCS. It is yeah. just you prepared yourself, you build your portfolio project. Okay. Yes, 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 okay, that's great because a lot of people struggle that we have not worked in this technology, in that technology, how we will get called. But it is yeah. good to see people are creating, you know, themselves uh, portfolio projects and that is helping them, right? Yes, yes. If you know the data engineering end to end, like this AWS and Azure, those all are tool based, okay? You just need to draw, drag and drop the things to get the knowledge on Azure and AWS. Both. But you should know the Python and SQL best for data engineering interviews. Okay. Yeah, so from where more did you uh, use any specific resources to learn Azure than AWS or it is just general YouTube channels and something? General YouTube channels. General YouTube channels. Okay. You didn't pay anything or as such. No, no, no. Great, great. I never paid anything to take an interview. Okay. Specific. Great. So uh, can you tell us about some of the interview questions around this data engineering apart from SQL Python, like big data or Azure, any specific questions? Okay, so for Spark, you are getting many questions. Spark optimization is the main question. You, you will get police repartition, salting, you can say uh, joins, okay, broadcast joins, shuffle as joins, shuffle merge joins. This kind of question you can easily expect for Spark interview question. Okay. Okay. For Hive, you can give the bucketing and partitioning, what's the difference between that, the external table, internal tables, what are the zookeepers, what are the secondary name note, and uh, that kind of things. Okay, what are the racking concepts in Hive or Hadoop? This type of question you can easily expect for Hive and Hadoop interviews. Okay. And what about cloud technologies like Azure or AWS? Uh, for Azure and AWS, there are mainly three parts. Okay. For data ingestion, data transformation, and data load. Okay. So I have prepared these three topics uh, dif differently. Okay. For uh, data ingestion, I mainly worked on like AWS Blue or ADF, Azure Data Factory. Okay. For data transformation perspective, I mainly use Park with Databricks. Okay, and for data load, you can say EDLS or AWS data like anything. Okay, so questions are around those concepts. Only. Uh, nothing, okay. nothing very advanced, basic on, yeah, on nothing very hard for AWS or Azure uh, for tool based questions. Okay, that's what I have also seen that people don't ask very hi fi questions or very advanced questions on cloud. Your basic should be strong SQL, Python, big data fundamentals, and then you should have some knowledge. You have built some projects that is good enough, I think, right? But okay. first round is always SQL Python. So if it is Correct. not Correct. good, then you will struggle to clear first okay. round. Okay. Right? Correct. Thank, thanks for company, first round should be SQL and Python. Okay. So in Python, specific to Python, what kind of preparation data engineers need? Like DSA they need to understand or basic Python is enough? Uh, not that much of DSA. I have focused on mainly that uh, data structure like list dictionary. Apart from that, string, array, and link list. This is this five things only. Okay. Not much on algorithms. Not not much. Of, yes. Like okay. searching, sorting. That should I know? Should we know? But yeah, they are not asking that that much of thing in data engineering course. Okay. Interviews. Great. Now, um, one question which a lot of people were asking, like. Whatever you have worked on TCS, did that help you? Did those projects help you in interview process, or it was all about your preparation outside your projects? How did how how did it go? No, no, no. Basically, TCS mainly helped. This is the projects in TCS which which on I have worked on that mainly helped for my interview process. Okay? Basically, from there I know the what is the data pipeline, what is the uh, significance of data, what kind of data should be stored. What should we? What should happen if we delete a data? Okay, that kind of practical exposure you should get a from a project only, not from your uh, self preparation. Okay, so, so it's a combination of your data. Yeah, correct. Combination of your project and whatever you work outside to practice. Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. Great. And how is the market? Like a lot of people say that they are not getting calls, but in last, I would say five, six months, you would have got 15, 20 calls you have got. Yeah. So what is the secret to getting so many calls? Uh, basically we need to prepare a good resume. Okay. Mm -hmm. You should always mention what actually you have worked on. Okay. I have worked on Python, SQL and Swift, Linux. So I should specifically uh, mention those only. I'm not mentioning C, C++, Java and everything. What I have worked on, what are the specific tasks like creating a data pipeline, optimization in data pipeline, 
creating automation, ETL tools, whatever the things I've worked on, I've just specifically mentioned those only. That are then including everything. I am trying to make my resume compact, like one page only. Okay, okay. and where everything should be uh, contained. Okay. In that way, I, my resume got collected in many places. Okay, so you got mostly calls from Nokri LinkedIn or some other uh, website? Uh, Nokri Nok LinkedIn only. Nokri LinkedIn. So what? So nowadays it is Nokri more or LinkedIn more? What do you think? Uh, LinkedIn. I'm not getting that much of call from LinkedIn directly. I'm just trying to touch with the recruiter with okay. LinkedIn and ask, asking them if there is any open position for data engineering or not. Okay, so you will send if them a message basically. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. Direct okay. call I'm getting that is from Nokri only. Okay. Okay. So in Nokri, generally people will update every day to keep your profile yes. fresh. Any other tricks in Nokri to keep your profile uh, no, updated? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I'm just uh, opening my Nokri profile every day and trying to keep it updated. Keep my resume updated in every seven or ten days. What I have new learned, I'm just putting that in my resume in short. Okay. Great. Great. And uh, lastly, talk about the salary ranges, right? So, like, what kind of salary ranges someone can expect in service based company and product based company with this three to five or six years of band? Okay, so product based, I can say, uh, like, if you are transitioning from a service based to product based, you can easily get around 20 to 30 LPA from a product based with, uh, with three and a half experience. Okay. And service base are not that much idea, but you, you, will, you will get around 12 to 15 for service base as well with this much of experience. Okay. And big four as well. In great thing. Okay. okay. Great, Shubham. Uh, lastly, if you want to say anything to all the aspiring data engineers who want to move from service base to product base, or many of them finding their first job in data engineering, what will you say to them? Uh, I can say them like, uh, don't lose your hope. Okay, it may happen you are not clearing first three to five, or maybe ten interviews, but definitely you can clear the thirteen or fourteen interviews. Definitely, but from my personal experience, I can say I have given many interviews, many many interviews, but yeah, at last I got a good company at least. Right, and well, I also agree with you that after some interviews, like after five or six interviews, questions will keep repeating. Right, so repeating, don't yeah. wait for you know, prepare and then start giving interviews, right? You start giving interviews. You know, that's four or five that's interviews, that's you different. will be rejected. Then you will know what to prepare, what to not prepare. And then that's it, right? You will get a confidence after 10 to 12 interviews that I can know that I know the questions. I can easily answer those questions. Right. That confidence right. I got now. Great, great, Shubham. Uh, wish you all the best. And thanks for Thank taking... So this time for the podcast, I hope it helps all the aspiring data engineers. Uh, thank you again and wish you the best. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.